This explosion of yellow is right in the middle of southern Manitoba. It's great fun. It's a great thing to do with the grandkids and, you know, a nice day. Good drive. It's perfect. That makes fields like this a great spot to snap a selfie, but that can mean trampled crops. Not all farmers are as welcoming as Dean Taves. Part of the idea also came from some of the tension that comes with farmers and, and city people when, when they come out to the field. They want to see the sunflowers, but it's essentially trespassing unless they have permission. And so we thought, what if we gave people permission to come and, and enjoy themselves in the field. It was really nice that there's a place that welcome us onto their property to take their photos and I could post on Instagram and not get in trouble. Yeah. Taves made trails for people to walk around and leave a donation. That money and proceeds from the crop go to Canadian Food Grains Bank, which helps feed people around the world. The Taves family opened up the sunflower field pretty spontaneously last year to guests. They still managed to raise $2,000 in cash donations and made another $20,000 off the sunflower crop. And this year, they expect those numbers to grow. So uh, you get one Instagrammer with a lot of followers and then all of a sudden there's lots of Instagrammers coming out to do copycat pictures. One more, one, two. We would like to help and donate something for the, just the, you know, community. For Taves, there's another benefit, introducing city people to farming. As time goes on, as people are more separated from agriculture, it's just a pleasure to, to have people enjoy what we, what we do. All the more reason to smile for the camera. Emily Brass, CBC News, McGregor, Manitoba.